Hi guys and welcome to my DIY channel. In today's video we will be doing some crafts and I have an announcement for you all so if you're interested make sure you stay until the end. Let's get into it. Okay, this first project is my favorite project of this whole video. Using these little paint stick sized pieces of wood that you guys see me use quite frequently here on my channel, I went ahead and I cut them down into 12 inch lengths and there are eight of them. And then I had some of this skinnier wood and I wanted to use this to staple it to the back. Um, my staples were a little bit too long so I had to change the length of the staples. Once I did that, they worked perfectly, and so I put these all together and then stapled these two pieces of wood onto the backs of them, and I needed them to be closer in the center because I'm not using them to make a sign. Then, using one of these 10-inch size diameter plates that you can get from the Dollar Tree, I used this as a pattern because I wanted my diameter to be 10 inches. I traced this on there so that I had a perfect circle and then using my jigsaw, I went ahead and I cut this out. So this is the reason why I needed those pieces of wood that I stapled to the back to kind of be down in the middle more so rather than the edges of the pieces of wood because I needed this to be circular because I'm making a cloth. Once it was all cut out, I sanded it down really, really good and then I took it inside and put a coat of stain on it. I am using the color Espresso in the Minwax brand. And I went ahead and I just got everything stained front and back. Then using some chalk paint, I went ahead and I gave the entire face of the clock a coat of paint. I picked up one of these little clock kits at Walmart. They're very inexpensive. This whole kit was like under $5, but they're plastic and I didn't like the brassy gold looking color. So I used some bronze spray paint and I ended up painting all of the numbers and the hands of the clock in that bronze spray paint to match. And then using my silhouette cutting machine, I just got this from the silhouette store, this thankful and blessed sign. I went ahead and I cut this out to use this as a stencil and using a sponge and some brown paint, I went ahead and I stenciled this on. Once everything was completely dry, I ran my sander over the whole thing so that it just kind of all blended together and looked really rustic and aged. Then using some hot glue, I went ahead and I glued the numbers on. I started with the 12, 3, 6, and 9 so that I could make sure I had everything spaced where I wanted it. And then I went ahead and put the little clock part together. Oh, and I also drilled a hole for the in the center of that so that the clock piece could come through from the back. And then I finished gluing the rest of the numbers on and this project was done.
This project is so quick and easy. Three items, all from the Dollar Tree, and I threw this together in minutes. It was so fun to do just a really quick and easy, yet very pretty project. Using this charger that you can get from the Dollar Tree, I loved how it looked like wood, so I didn't want to change that at all, and then I just took these stickers that you can also get from the Dollar Tree. I cut them out, and I just used the one word, grateful, and then I wanted to make sure that in case I use this to serve anything on this, that these stickers didn't peel up, so I put some Mod Podge down first, and then I covered the entire center part with Mod Podge so that they would stick really, really well. This little ice cream dish from the Dollar Tree, I took it outside and I ended up spray painting it. You do not see me do that, but you will see it completed here in just a second. Once everything was dry, I took some Gorilla Glue and some hot glue and I glued this onto the bottom of it so that it could just be a little raised tray for the center of my table. Once again, this was so quick and easy and so inexpensive. This whole project was $3. It was awesome. I'm kind of on a charger kick from the Dollar Tree, you guys. They have some amazing chargers out right now for fall, and I'm sure they're gonna get a whole bunch out for Christmas. But I picked up these Buffalo plates, um, this big, bigger charger, and then this other little family size one. I thought that would go really cute with it. And then this little fall sign that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I took everything off, and I really liked the texture that the burlap had on the front. I thought about using the back side, but then I decided to use the front so that I could use the texture. So using some Waverly chalk paint in the color white, I went ahead and I gave this two really thick coats because you really have to cover this really good so that it covers up all of the glitter from those letters that I left on there. If you look really closely, you can still, you can still see the word fall, but I'm just hoping that nobody looks really closely because from far away you can't really tell. Once that was dry, I again used my Silhouette cutting machine to cut out a stencil. This is just one you can purchase from the design studio. And I put that in place where I wanted it on my pumpkin and then using some black chalk paint, I went ahead and stenciled that on. And then of course I had to distress the edges just to make sure that it looked just a little bit more complete and I love how it just kind of outlines the sign for the project. Using some buffalo check ribbon that I got from Walmart, I went ahead and I tied a bow because I thought it would go really cute with the buffalo check charger. And then using some of those little small blocks that you can get from the Dollar Tree, I went um, ahead and painted those white on the sides that you would see them. I wanted to glue these to the back because I thought it would make it look really cute to give it some dimension coming up off the plate just a little bit. So I super glued, super glued. So I hot glued those to the back and then hot glued this little pumpkin sign to the center of this charger. I love it as it is right now. I think it's really cute just keeping it a complete black and white look. So you could do it that way. You could stop right there. If you wanted to add a little pop of color to match your fall decor, then you could just take some of this floral and add some twine and glue this to the bottom, which is what I did.
this project, it is another Dollar Tree project, very inexpensive. I just picked up three of these little candlestick holders. You can see that they are different sizes. One is taller than the other two. I wanted that to be a different size. I wanted it to be just a little bit taller because I wanted it to taper. And so using some Gorilla Glue and some hot glue, I ended up gluing these to the bottom of these little glasses that I got. the glue is dry I used some painters tape and some paper towels to tape this off to protect it from overspray and I put it about an inch down from the bottom of this glass and then I went ahead and I tucked the paper towel inside to protect it this worked really well you guys I didn't have to tape off the whole thing the paper towel did a great job at protecting this glass this is some Krylon spray paint in the color rose gold I love this color. I thought this was so pretty for fall. Once everything was protected, I went ahead and spray painted the bottom of the glass and then the little candle holder stem. And I did this to all three of these jars. Once that was dry, I wanted to put a little rim around the top, so using the same technique to protect the glass, I used the painter's tape to, to tape it off just a little bit right down from the top of the rim, and then I protected everything else. Took it outside and spray painted, and now you can see as I'm taking it off, which you can kind of see, the lighting is terrible, but you can see as I take it off here that there is now also a little rim of rose gold at the top of this. And then to embellish it just a little bit, I went ahead and I wrapped some jute twine on the stem. And you can leave it just like this with just the twine. Just kind of leave it nice and simple. Or you could add a ribbon bow to it and you can change out the ribbon for the seasons. So for like the holidays, you can change out whatever different types of ribbon that you want. Once I was done with that, I went ahead and I got these sparkly foam balls from the Dollar Tree and I actually got them in each of the holiday colors. And so you can do them for Halloween, fall, and Christmas and you can just fill them up and I thought that it just added a cute little pop of color and glitter to your decor.
moving forward with my same little theme, I got these little jars that you can see with the metal lids and then those exact same candle holders, those glass candle holders right there with the little stems. And we're going to be doing this a very similar idea. These projects are going to be very, very similar. So hopefully you will have two different ideas and styles that you guys can do these jars. So I went ahead and I spray painted these in the color taupe, I want to say. That's what that's called, I think that's, or London Gray. It actually was London Gray. So I went ahead and I spray painted the lids and then the stems that I would be using for these jars. Once they were dry, I used some Gorilla Glue to get them all glued together. And then I went ahead and used my Silhouette Cutting Machine on these little glass jars, they've got this perfect little oval indentation for like a label. And so I just measured those out and I ended up cutting out with my silhouette the words sweets, candy, and shop, just because I thought that would look really cute. And so, and then I put those in that little area that you can see so that it looks like it has a little label. Once that was done and the glue was dry and everything was assembled, I went ahead and I embellished the bottoms of the stems a little bit with some ribbon. These are another one we can do like for Christmas. If you change these out for Christmas, you can do some Christmas ribbon. Right now I've done some fall ribbon and I'm gluing the bows onto the ribbon and so that I can take these off. And then I have some amazing helpers because anytime candy is involved, of course, um, it, it's like a magnet for my children. They saw me using some candy in my DIYs and they of course had to help. So I have several little hands helping me to put some candy in these jars and you have some candy jars. Looking back as I'm watching this, I feel like this was probably a bad decision. Not the children, the jars, the glass jars with having children, especially with putting candy in them because I know that there are gonna be some sneaky little hands coming into these jars and where they are glass, I would not be surprised if one of these breaks. Maybe next time I will make them plastic, out of plastic. And that's it. You have some seasonal candy jars. This would be super cute to change these out with each of the seasons. So for Christmas, you could put some Christmas candy and some Christmas ribbon in there. And then for Valentine's and Easter and 4th of July, you can use this year round and just change out the candy and the bows. For watching I hope you guys enjoyed these products as always please do the things in which you guys are so good at doing please leave a comment down below consider subscribing if you guys are new I would love for you to stick around and please give this video a thumbs up let me know which one was your favorite and thank you to all of you who are always coming back and who give me such amazing support all right now for my announcement I'm so excited to announce that I am trying to find a way to add more value to your guys's lives so with that being said, at the end of each of my videos, I want to do just a quick little segment of something that could just be uplifting, encouraging, anything that might just give you a little bit more value in your life. When I first started my YouTube channel, I wanted to find this, I wanted this to be a place where you guys came and felt like you guys could receive something. So for right now, of course, you're coming and you're watching some DIYs and I'm hoping that you're getting some ideas, some inspiration, and maybe even a laugh or a smile here and there. However, I also feel that I need to find a way to just elevate your experience just a little bit more when you come to my channel. So I actually was talking to a life coach and he did two things. One, he inspired me. Two, he challenged me. He knows that I do a YouTube channel and he told me, he said, you should give them something at the end of your video that would just add more value to their lives. So this is exactly what I'm gonna be doing. For those of you who would like to stay to the end, I will be giving you something of value. So a piece of advice, something that I've learned along the way, something that I've learned from this life coach. I just feel so selfish not sharing everything that in which he has taught me and the things that I have learned along this road. So for those of you who aren't interested, that's totally okay too. And that's why this will all be at the end of the video so that you can come for the DIYs, get what you need, and then you're good to go. Any of you who would like to stay, I would love for you to stay. It really will not be long, and it might look different. Some days it might just be a really funny story. Other days it might just be something uplifting. It might, it'll, it'll just be something because I want to give back to you guys somehow. I want this to be 
an elevated experience. I want you to leave my channel with a smile or feeling good or just glad that you guys stopped by. And so you guys have given me so much with my subscribers, the views, the comments, and I feel like this is just a tiny little way that I might be able to give back to you guys. So I hope that you're excited. I hope that you'll stick around because I promise you, if you guys stick around for that last little end segment, you will leave better than when you came to my video. I promise you guys that. I had my life coach tell me that. He's not really my life coach, but that doesn't really matter. Anyways, I've had a life coach tell me that. He said that if you do these certain principles, practice these things, think this way, then you 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 will leave better than what you came. He promised me that, and you guys, that promise was fulfilled. So here, I hope that we can do the same thing. So the first thing that I want to do is, because I've already rambled all, and I promised I wouldn't be very long at the end, is I just want to share my gratitude to you guys, because you all matter. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And so I just wanted to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And I promise you guys, it will be fun. Be sure to make sure that you're subscribed so you guys can stick around and get excited because I promise you guys it's gonna be great I promise thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye guys